Hello. I want to talk a little bit today about analog cable and pay TV decoders, descramblers. Um, walk you through a little bit um, of, of, of technology here from over the decades, which at this point is completely dead and gone, except for maybe some rural small communities. Okay, back in the 80s, there was a service in Chicago called On TV. On TV broadcasted a scrambled channel over channel 44, um, just on regular UHF. And what you'd do is you'd subscribe to On TV and you'd get one of these boxes. And this, you know, based on a paid subscription, um, it would descramble the signal. After On TV was out a little while, they came out with Sports Vision. So this is, uh, there are two boxes here that I have in my collection. One is the original On TV box, the other one is Sports Vision and On TV if you happen to have um, subscriptions to both of those channels. These boxes um, for their time were actually very complex. Now I don't have these open right now, but I can tell you the uh, many of the electronics are submerged in epoxy. So you really can't even get to them. You, you just see these wires, wires going into these little um, hardened dishes of electronics. So you can't even get to them. But anyways, these are the boxes. Um, you'd run your, your, your antenna in and out via the coax connectors. And this box would just run. And then if you wanted to turn it on, you would, you would switch the knob in front. But uh, this is from 1982. Looks like December of 82. And then this one is from 1981, or maybe it's 83, it's hard to tell. But you can always decipher a date code if you know the, the era. So anyways, um, that was one of the original types of pay television. What happened with on TV though, is that you'd pay a, you know, 15, 20, 25 dollars a month, but you only had one channel. There's a problem with that because Cable television then started becoming very popular, and with cable television, you'd save, you'd save the same, you'd pay the same price, and you'd get 20, 30, 40, 50 channels. So these are analog cable descramblers, and this is one, this is one of the brands called Scientific Atlanta. Scientific Atlanta made a bunch of different cable boxes. Then we also have Zenith. These are two different versions of Zenith, one of which is more of a wood grain. And then another one is more of a gray. This is a more modern version. This one was, was really came out in the, I think it was the early 2000s, so this was like the last run of, of what was available. In fact, this one would do a hundred and some channels, while this one right here only went up to like 99. I think the Scientific Atlanta also went to 99, but you never even saw that many analog channels. But um, basically the cable company would, would give you your programming scrambled um, via the cable line, and, and some channels were non-descrambled. They, they would come through straight and clear, but your pay channels then would, would go through these boxes and they'd be programmed based on the serial number to uh, decrypt. Now, there's something interesting about these three cable boxes I want to tell you about. These all have test chips. So, a test chip is a very easy way of saying these boxes are being tricked into receiving all channels, pay or not. So if analog cable was still around and you plug one of these in, and if your cable system used Scientific Atlanta, on this box, or if it used Zenith, because they're different scrambling technologies, these would pick up and decipher every channel, including pay-per-view. Um, people also call them cheater boxes. I just opened up the Scientific Atlanta, and you're going to see right here, there's a modified board. This board here has a little bit of epoxy, and it's actually soldered on top, it's piggybacked on top of another chip. Well, that's, this board right here is the test chip, and what it does is it causes the box to tune in to every channel. Now, I can't demo this because, as I said earlier, there is no more analog cable, and these are completely dead right now, but um, back in the day, they were a lot of fun, especially back in college. So, um, anyways, these are analog cable boxes. You probably won't see many of these anymore. Um, if you do, people are going to probably throw them out because even over the air analog, which is what these could tune in, even over the air if you hooked up an antenna, that is pretty much dead. I mean, everything is digital by today's standards. So, 
that's a little bit of my collection and you'll see in a lot of my videos I have a lot of old technology I just find it fun to look at to collect to kind of preserve because I know that there's not a lot of the stuff out there so uh, maybe I'm the only one that has a collection like this but I, I do think it's kind of fun to play with and, and look at any questions leave a comment on YouTube and I'll get back to you thanks